What's up guys, welcome to Spare Change. Here on the channel, we do a lot of home theater related videos, as well as 4K Blu-ray reviews for the home theater and movie enthusiasts. So if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Okay, so this video can be kind of subjective, but I'm gonna share with you guys what I think are the top five worst 4K Blu-rays so far in 2018. All right, so they may not be the worst, but they may not be what people expect from a 4K transfer. I'm basing this list on video quality alone and not on audio quality. I'm also not basing this on how good the movie is. So with that said, coming in at number five, and this may hit a sensitive spot with some, is Star Wars, The Last Jedi. I gave this one a 7.5 for video and a seven for audio. So this movie hits both points for being a disappointment. I had high hopes for this being a Star Wars film and all, but I found the image was dull and lifeless. It seemed devoid of color and was very washed out. HDR quality, was there HDR in this? Audio was done in Dolby Atmos, and just like the video quality, I thought it was a letdown. Star Wars was the pioneer in surround sound, but this movie left a lot to be desired. Atmos height effects, eh. On to number four. Now this one may be touchy as well, is Black Panther. I gave this one a 7.8 for video and a 7 for audio. This one wasn't as dull looking as The Last Jedi, but black levels did kind of suck. Details were lost, and I found black levels grayish and muddy at times. The regular Blu-ray actually looked better in this area. Audio was done in Dolby Atmos, or was it ProLogic? Well, let's just say height effects were nil and volume was low. It's on par with The Last Jedi and several other Marvel Disney releases. At number three is The Hurricane Heist. I don't think anyone cares about this one, but I found the image quality reminiscent of video shot with a cell phone. Nope, that's a different movie. I gave this a 7 for video and a 9 for audio. The movie has very noisy shots, very noticeable in low-lit scenes that made me think it was very cell phone-esque in image quality. However, there were some pretty sharp and clean moments, so it does have that going for it. Color is pretty much not there as it is a very mute color palette. Audio is done in Dolby Atmos, and this is the main attraction to the whole movie. If you guys have a good audio setup, I think you're gonna like this mix. At number two is Forrest Gump. I gave this a five for video and a six for audio. This had a mix of really sharp and clean shots mixed with a splash of DNR and maybe a little bit of sharpening thrown in. HDR was nothing special, but color saturation did get a boost over the standard Blu-ray. Audio gets upgraded to Dolby Atmos, but I didn't find it all that different from the standard Blu-ray and Atmos immersion wasn't there either. And coming in at number one is Unsane. I get that it's shot on a phone, so it does have that intentional look, but I think if you're a casual viewer looking to get into some 4K content, you may be shocked once you hit that play button. There are black bars, but it's on the sides of the screen, so you will get pillar boxing instead of letter boxing. The image can be noisy and shadow details do get crushed. If you're looking for a 4K crisp sharp image, this is the furthest thing from it. Audio is in DTS HD, and just like the video, I found it lackluster. Now these are just my personal picks on what I thought was a disappointment in 4K Blu-ray releases so far this year. I'm sure you've got a different list, so let us know in the comments below. If you found the video useful, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out our social media, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys again in the next one.